Hey everyone, Lens Windows and Chilled back for some satisfactory. Welcome back, sir. Uh, thank you. How you been? I've uh, been alright. Building IKEA furniture is always fun. <laughs> always. Always fun. Um, alright, I've just been upgrading our Caterium um, setup here, and I do need to speed up uh, what we've got because I ended up building a second. Um, the second crafter thing here, making the Caterium wire and then making it so that each of these machines get their own input. I did have it all split and stuff and realised that, um, yeah, well, I may as well just feed one each and be done with it. Uh, so I've got these splitters and combiners and stuff and I don't really need them. I'll remove them at some point. Uh, what I do need to do, though, is connect up our, uh, our Caterium input into these things and I do have you but you're not sped up although I'm gonna move you so there's not much point all right let's actually let's get rid of this guy and splitters splitter in there and lovingly because of that's lovely I love it. I love it because of the uh, the mod, because of the the smart mod. It's automatically connecting up the uh, the belts to the machines. <laughs> it's putting tier fives on it as well. Super fast. Nice. Although I think this one's quicker. Is always better. I think it's being a bit bit daft actually. You go in there, all right? That's oh, working. My bad. So yeah, we're just hooking up these bits and pieces here because, I mean, Child had already uh, done the setup. It's just just getting the, the stuff in. <laughs> I love T5 belts. They are so OP. So not needed. Uh, you are making Katerium. Thanks. And so are you. Alright, so that should get them... <laughs> It's, it's all just flying in there. I love it. Anyway, uh, so these guys all are up and smelting. I'll probably get some um, some power shards at some point, but we'll see how how doubling the output is going for us. I might just speed these up to tier three belts. Going just a touch faster. Yeah. Looks, looks good. And then you should be feeding out at, at... No, you're not feeding out at T3, so... Be T3. You can be T3, and you can be T3. Sounds like an Oprah show. Alright. Um, yeah, so just upgrading this little bit of bit of production here so that we can produce the, the two items I set up last time, which were the AI limiter and the high-speed connector. Uh, they're all feeding down to the other machine down there, the other, whatever these things are again, manufacturer, that's the word, and making our uh, supercomputers. But looking at our milestone that I've currently got unlocked, I'm pretty sure we should have all the materials we need to do this. I am going to need another 1500 of copper wire, so let's hope we've got that in here, should have. One, two, three. Uh, yep, we've got the, the three stacks there. I'm going to need the, the computers, the whatever these things are, the radio control units. Is that this one? No, that's crystal oscillator. It's this one here. The 50 radio control units is what we need. And then we need... Get on the belt. We need 100 of the aluminium aluminum casings I'll grab 200 of them and then we need 200 of the Alclad sheets the good stuff that makes tier 5 belts fast fast belts Ooh, stuck stuck yep yep it's a terrible design we have and it's all my fault <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, let me run back and unlock this advanced uh, aluminum, aluminium, aluminum, yeah, it's only got the one eye. Uh, aluminum processing. Here we go, do, do, do this, 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 and some of that. Hit the button. Milestone reached. The object scanner can now find underground wells, which can be pressurized to extract resources such as nitrogen, water, and oil. Nitrogen will contribute to more advanced aluminum parts. Okay. Yep. So I have seen around the world the um, the water areas, and there is some. There is one of them up near the uh, the aluminum processing area where you can get you know pressurized water instead of having to pump it from a from another place. Uh, next unlock. Let's see. We've got nuclear power. We have leading edge production. And we have particle enrichment. All of which we need to do the phase four unlocks. So each each of these have one of those areas. Uh, the, the nuclear one has the magnetic field generator, the second item in the complete phase four piece at the top there. Uh, the one we just unlocked is kind of a stepping stone towards it. It's got the cooling system. The third item is in the leading edge production, which is thermal propuls propulsion rockets, which needs supercomputers, which I set up last episode. Uh, steel pipe, which we've... I, I did say well, just before we started recording, I said we, we're going to be using some steel soon. I'm pretty sure of it. Yep, that needs a thousand to unlock this one. Mm -hmm. Fused modular frames. Okay. It needs all sorts of stuff. It's made in a blender. Looks like it needs aluminum. Uh, the actual liquid aluminum stuff. <gasps> Unfortunate. The, the downside to moving things... Mm -hmm. I, know, I think it might be nitrogen gas, actually. Judging by the icon. So, uh, we're going to need to find nitrogen gas. I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, we have unlocked that in our scanner, so we'll be able to find that, and then we'll be able to make resource well pressurizers and resource well extractors. And then hopefully bring that stuff back to base. Uh, so, next unlock... to me... We already have everything we need for the nuclear power. And we're already producing the supercomputers. It'll literally be waiting for the supercomputers to be made, and then you could go nuclear power. Um, so I think that's our next um, that's our next milestone. Yeah. Cool. Nuclear power. You're going <laughs> spending all that time down there making fuel power and I'm I'm gonna go and unlock nuclear power well, for you. Well that's that's all fine and dandy because we're gonna need the power. We're still way behind. Hey, let's look for n nitrogen. This scares me a little. I don't have any idea where nitrogen is gonna be. Miles away, probably a desert. My thoughts. Twelve hundred and thirty meters towards you. So if you want to do a, and then eighteen hundred meters towards the aluminium processing. So if you want to do a, a scan for nitrogen down where you are, see how close it is to you. Find nitrogen, nitrogen gas. I reckon it's going to be somewhere in the region of 600. Oop, that's not the button I want. 65. Ah, that was a good guess, wasn't it? So it's up in the or desert though, isn't it? Uh, that's over towards the um, the cliffs, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Well, I might come for a run out your way. I'll see what I need to build this pressurized like, like stuff. Ten degrees off of the space elevator to the left from my position. Oh, so it's between us. That's yeah, I'm looking. I, I'm looking at the space elevator, and it's six sixty-five, and it's about. Like I said, 10 to 15 degrees to the left. Okay. Looks like it, it might be, like I said, in the cliffs region. 
All right, well, let's see things. Let's look what we need here for a resource well pressurizer. We need copper wire, rubber, encased concrete, steel beam things, some motors. So I'll pick up some motors. And then the extractors just need plastic and steel. So I'll grab some items and I'll head out and we'll find where this thing is and we'll work out how to extract it. I'll be back once I'm there. All right, for all the weird places for things to spawn, up here is where it is. Like you can see down there is, just around the corner here pretty much, is uh, where Chilled is over at the power area. And for some reason, my um, the car I drove down in is all like highlighted, but that's cool. Um, so over here, apparently, and I, I've equipped my jetpack so I could get up here. Over here is, is where the uh, the nitrogen is. So I'm a little bit wary of how we actually get up here. But this is our nearest nitrogen. Blue-tinged rocks on the ground. Nitrogen gas pure. Okay, so I believe the idea is that you go to, like, this bit here, and then we pressurize it. Looks like water coming out of there. Right, so let's see if we can... Again, I need to bring power up here, but that's neither here nor there. Resource well pressurizer goes... Yeah, so it goes on this piece. Right, and as I said, now we need to put things in here. So this just takes power, that's cool. I was hoping it wouldn't take like water or something silly like that. So we still need to get power up here. It's a nifty model, though. Could admit. And then I'm assuming we take these extractor things. Apparently, you need to place this on an activated fracking satellite node. Okay, so we've actually got to power this thing first before I can place the thing down. So again, like, it's in a bit of a weird spot. And with my nearest power... Ish. Terrible. <laughs> Gonna need to build a lot. Um, just trying to work out. Uh, there's all the smokestacks for the the coal power gen down there. So I'm gonna have to build some platforms and work out a better way of getting down from here. And it might just be going straight down there. Hmm. But this is gonna be fun because we need to. Connect this guy up, and then we can connect uh, other bits and pieces up uh, to to this gas. And I'm thinking I might just end up piping the gas back because it's a big drop from here down. Hopefully, hopefully it runs like fluid. I don't know. We may have to process it into canisters. Anything's possible. All right, I'm going to have a, a bit of a poke around here. This this episode is going to be a lot of uh, a lot of cuts. I think so I need to. Hook, hook this stuff up uh, and work out the best way possible to bring items in and out of this area. So maybe I'll have to tax chilled away from his area to come and help me. <laughs> hey, I'm more than happy to. Because, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an unfortunate placement, that's for sure. I mean, we can power down here. The power going across the beaches may be my closest power. You can see the rail line right there. So, yeah. I'll, I'll work away, and I'll be back shortly. Actually, train's gone right past now. There it is. Hello, train. All right, I'll be back soon. All righty, we are back, and this was our solution. <laughs> it's It's an even bigger stairway than the one up to the radio tower thing. So, but I ran out of material, so Chill did have to come and help me. Um, and then he, he's run the power up to here. We haven't connected the item up because we don't know what it's going to do. We, you know, hopefully it's, you know, I don't know, impressive and things explode everywhere, but anything's possible, right? So I figured we would connect it up on camera. And um, here we go. Power. Go.
They do have wick, pretty wicked animations in this, don't they? Don't they? Certainly do. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I kind of figured it to do something like that, right? That's cool. I don't know. It only does it the once. Yes. Yeah, so, see, I'm glad I was up here to, to record that. Um, Where's the output on this thing? I haven't seen. These. That. These are the outputs, right? So you've actually got to build a um, another part to it, which is this one. All right. So let's take this one for example, because it's, I don't know, wh what were you thinking? We were going to try and do the, the station. So if I put this here, uh, yeah, like that. That's our output. Okay. And then you can build one on each of these. I'm, I'm assuming. Okay, so I'm assu okay, so that's basically just pressurizing the, these wells then. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, there's, there's two, right? Yeah, so then we just yeah. connect pipes up, and it's it's building nitrogen. You can get nitrogen gas now. Mm -hmm. Trying really hard, apparently. <laughs> That's what it says on the screen. This one's extracting, that one says trying really hard. Now it says extracting. Okay. Well, there you go, so that's... Kind of. <laughs> is that what it said? Uh -huh. Okay, so obviously it's not... Now it's full. Yeah, I don't know how many this can pressurise. I, I, I don't... Again, this is all new, new stuff to me. Resource well potential is 840 cubic meters a minute. It's pulling 150 megawatts. And it's currently got two extractors of seven. Yeah. Oop, I'll get out of the way. Sorry. No, that's all right. I'm just trying to see if one of them will work. Didn't have enough for the big one. <laughs> nope. It's unfortunate. Oh, fluid. Yeah, just this one just says trying really hard. And this one says fracking, says kind of. Yes, going up. <laughs> All right, so we are getting nitrogen gas. Which, as I said, will be needed in our next step of, uh, of production uh, in the blender to make that uh, to make that next level of um, frame advanced frame. Pretty nifty. So now we need to work out a way of getting this to <clears throat> to the base. And I was considering uh, making a fluid station down down there okay because the tracks right there right like we could probably somehow build a station in this area and then just run the pipes over the edge and i just don't know if it's possible to run uh like a point system uh, you know like tracks multiple tracks out of one spot i don't know if that's a thing um, but ideally, we can work a way of of getting a train station for fluid. And worst case, I'll build a second station back at home base, like a little bit closer to this, if that makes sense. So you'll have the two stations, one after the other, and then the fluid one will just stop at the fluid station. Maybe that's a thing. But um, yes, a little bit of, of work needed to be done. And I'm going to need to go and get some materials to build a station. Need some computers and some concrete. And then we'll need to make another train. Yep, so I need a few computers. I need some beacons. I need a bunch of materials. So I'm going to run back down to uh, where my car was. Down these stairs. Do you know what? I'd be quicker 
if I put my uh, my runners on. But yeah, I'm going to run back to to base and grab some materials, and we'll see. And again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to because of the way I've built everything here. Maybe we've got a enough space, but I might need to reroute the track a little. Might break things too. Hmm. Interesting. We'll work something out. Back in a moment. Alrighty, so we found a place for the station. I was trying to put it up in there and I just couldn't find somewhere flat enough to put this. Now, when you go to places, it shows this tank underneath, which is a bit weird, but everything seems to be fine. This is a, a fluid station and a, and a regular, you know, a fluid freight um, part. You can see the little fluid icon there. We've got pipe coming in. We've got nitrogen gas building up in here. Now, I don't have another station to take the fluids to and I'm hoping that this train that's about to arrive will go straight through this station because it's not designated to stop here here it comes fingers crossed this works oh nice lovely perfect so the freight trains will not stop here unless there's a train in here now i did put another blocking signal just up there on the hill uh, because i couldn't fit one here um so that the train any freight train coming in should stop there if there's a train in this station um and if there's a train over there it'll just sit here waiting uh maybe i'll put another blocking signal i'll oh, do it oh no i've got one there that's cool so it'll just stop outside the station eventually we may have trains doing their thing um, I would like to put uh, some more blocking signals around now if a fluid goes into us into a uh, you know an item one I don't think it and if the trains not designated to stop there I don't think it'll load unload if that makes sense so all we need to do now is take a trip back to the main base and set up a similar uh, except we'll be unloading and then pop a train on the line and tell it to stop and and pick up the fluid but that's that's our way of getting the nitrogen back to base and potentially we could do more like this you know the train line we've got is you know comes all the way through here and out to there and back through i mean there's nothing stopping us eventually running a train line even further out you know break off from the aluminium area and go out towards the desert maybe uh, but while I'm down here let's go and check out what Chilled has done where are you buddy? you back out there? I am but down at my oil processing and everything so Chilled just keeps expanding this area down here just the more and more you know trying to work out how to make things more efficient uh, I believe you were saying you've just started pushing the the byproducts into a an awesome sink um yeah the uh oop, hope you didn't build that truck in here i think you have <laughs> oh well um yeah so the byproducts from the plastic and 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 yeah. rubber production these these blue crystal well, things plastic yeah is the polymer resin there you go the stuff but yeah and just going into an awesome sink heavy oil over to back over to the other refineries making more fuel oh, yeah so nice we've got bu bukus of fuel well it's good I, I, I like a lot of fuel uh and what have we got how many we, i mean we could probably put more generators in right oh yeah although you know i'm, I'm pushing to unlock nuclear in here and it's what's more generators yeah. in but um every little bit helps right Correct. Every little bit does help. Um, I don't even know where we're at with sort of power gen. Uh, where's, a, where's a power pole? Um, I haven't looked at in a while. I swear you get out of your vehicles while it's still running. <laughs> Every time I've been, it's... I've lately been stopping and just waiting for a second before I get out. It's revving its guts out every time I come near it. Um, <laughs> so we can consume 4,700 megawatts, but we can only produce 3,000? Or is it production 2,500 and capacity? It's capacity 3067. So, still got a bit of bit of a way to go. Nuclear will help. Nuclear will definitely help. 
Um, but then we need like, you know, radiation suits and all that jazz. <laughs> Otherwise we'll yeah, interesting stuff. irradiate ourselves. Um, so t to the person who said that now that we're getting into trains, you're going to be having fun. Yes, I am having fun with the trains. <laughs> so I, I very much agree. It is, it is good fun to play around with the trains um, and this whole system. So Especially yes. Especially they try to run you over. Say what? When they I try to run they, you over. They try, they try to run you over while you're trying to fix things. Yeah, well, I got run over by a truck. That's I haven't had a train hit me yet. I don't, I don't know I what that would do. Yeah, but it's been daggum close. <laughs> don't stand too close. Uh, but yeah, definitely a nice little system here for the for the nitrogen. So I'm going to head back to base. I'm going to check in length of video and all that sort of jazz. And I will be back in a moment. Or well, we will be back in a moment. The chill's not going anywhere. Anyway, back in a tick. Alrighty, so we uh, just popped a, a, a gap in the track up here and put another station in with um, the unloading uh, set so that when you open it up, it has unload as the train settings here. Uh, and we have pipe connected down to a stack of three storage tanks down there because this is going to be used to make, and the train's on its way, so I want to check everything out here. This is going to be used to make the new frames, whatever they're called. Uh, where are they? Fused modular frames. So it needs the heavy modular, the aluminium casings, and the nitrogen. So both of those things are made just pretty much below where we are at the moment. So we can just connect it all up. Here comes a fluid one. I'll see how it unloads. Be a little bit different. I'm assuming it's just going to take the tanker off the back. Oh, that looks cool. I do like how it's flexible on what it... Um, the, the item on the back, if that makes sense. Okay. Unloading. And this is the first time that it's unloaded here, so this is probably going to hold that whole tank's worth. And it may leave without a tank at all. Yeah, I think it will in this case. Nice. And that will be draining. You can see it's running through the pipeline here. Draining down it fairly full. It's pumping out at 300 down into the tanks. 300 cubic meters a minute. That'll take a couple of minutes to empty out. Oh, there's our fluid system. There's our, our nitrogen ready for our next step, which will be those modular frames, the, the fused ones. And we'll connect all this up, and then we can run the, the aluminium stuff is down there, one of those two. I think it's actually that one. And then heavy frames are actually being used in a couple of these machines here. So that should be quite nice. I'll be very careful where I jump over the rail here. I'll, I'll fall off knowing my luck. But we're yeah, pretty close. Luck. What's that? So yeah, you do have that kind of luck. Yeah, yeah, I've fallen off from here a couple of times. It doesn't help that I'm standing right on the edge of the platform. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you can see we we actually have problems with production, and I'm hoping that this next frame thing will help in our our usage. You can see this is chock a block full of steel. We've got three industrial storage down there that are full, and then I put a, a second lot of three industrial storage there, and that's full. Um, so we do, we need to start using steel. We really do. And I'm hoping those fused frames, which use the heavy frame, right? So uh, if I type in frame. So fused modular frames use uh, heavy modular frames. Heavy modular frames need steel pipe and encased industrial beams, which uses steel. And then the modular frames themselves are just iron. So again, the other thing is the versatile framework here. Eventually we will, I'm assuming, use that in something. Here comes, a, here comes an item train. Goes straight through the fluid station to stop at the, the item station and it won't be able to unload because it's full. But um, yeah, system's working as intended, mostly. Trains are working as intended. Let's let's go with that. That's 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 the bit. Everything else, you know, the usage of the items from the train. Yeah, well, that's 
that's its own problem. But yes, definitely um, need to get things moving along. So I'll, I'll set up some production here somewhere and we'll pull the heavy frames. I want to say it's one of these that makes the heavy frames. It's in here somewhere. I think it's these. Um, we'll pull some heavy frames over to this production here and make that next one. But before then, we'll get all the materials needed next episode to hand in nuclear power. And hopefully, maybe be able to set that up. Fingers crossed. Um, but yes, we definitely need to use more rubber too, because that's what's blocking our whole system up. Rubber and steel. Problems. Anyway, wrapping up point. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave those comments down below. Jump on the Discord and uh, come and waffle on with us. And until next time... He's not listening. Everybody have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, I always drop it on you just for fun. You're right. <laughs> he did say it, but you know. Everyone right. hopefully have a good one. Yeah, everybody have a good one. <laughs> Bye. Hey, look, I fell off. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> See you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one way then.